Uh, let's stay on matters relating to uh, Parliament uh, because James Jachi Kwesen, uh, whose name has been struck off the list of members of Parliament uh, in the last session, uh, is making a strong comeback. He's uh, on a campaign bid just to uh, seek re-election within the ASEAN North uh, constituency, uh, when it's done that uh, for the very first time he's making a public, a public appearance uh, within the community uh, and touring some of the areas. Uh, let's get more now from uh, my colleague uh, who has been uh, monitoring that for us, uh, Richard Kujunyaku, who's joining me via Zoom. Richard, if you can hear me, uh, what's the latest within the constituency and what can you report? Uh, Richard, if you're with me, uh, I, I'm, I'm just wondering what James Jachikwesin has been up to. So James is actually questioning uh, in your shots there and uh, making a triumphant entry, if you want to call it as such. But um, Richard Kojinyaku, if you can hear me, uh, what's happening in, in the video as we see it and, and what can you report? Yeah, so James Jachikwesin, um, the former MP for the Asin North, um, is just entering with officials of the NDC to the Asin North uh, constituency officially to begin the campaign. But the NDC has indicated that he is going to be their candidate. And so there's not going to be any primaries uh, to be held by the NDC. So that is what you see in your shots here in the Assembly constituency. And why is he uh, choosing today of all days? Uh, of course, uh, it's expected that he would have spent some time there within the constituency. But why is he doing that today? Well, so today precedes um, the parliamentary primaries of the MPP, and so they chose today to also get into the constituency officially to, being, uh, to begin their campaign. In fact, uh, some officials of the NDC have been in the constituency for some time now, and they have been engaged in some campaigns. So they've divided themselves into blocks, and so they have taken some of the major towns, and that is where campaign, active campaigning is ongoing. If you go to the Assembly constituency, there is an aggressive uh, construction of roads. They are giving the major roads within the towns in the snow constituency, some facelifts. And so um, people are also divided about the kind of construction that is ongoing. Hello, Richard. Okay, uh, we, we seem to have uh, lost Richard briefly. We'll bring him back to uh, know uh, much more about the NPP strategy as well. But uh, you see supporters of uh, James Chikwesi uh, following through uh, on that convoy. Uh, where, of course, he's making uh, arguably the first public appearance or entry, grand entry, uh, into a constituency which once used to be his own, uh, as I mean, I mean, serving the people as, as their member of parliament. But, uh, Richard, if you can hear me, uh, well, it appears that we do not have Richard back uh, on with us. We'll get him and get you some more updates. Now, some residents uh, of Kumo in the Ashanti region are unhappy with the pace of work uh, in the uh, area, particularly when it comes to the construction uh, of roads within the community. The concerned residents claim that the speed of work experience ahead of the recent by-election has slowed. Uh, they also doubt the quality of work being done, considering the uh, fact that the project lacks a drainage system. We have more in this report for you. Construction of roads in the Kumo constituency took off after the death of the Member of Parliament, Philip Basua. The timing of the development was questioned by both residents and a section of Ghanaians, claiming the swiftness was due to the impending by-elections, an accession debunked by the road ministry. Though the contractor is on site, some road users claim the work is progressing at a snail pace compared to the speed of work ahead of the by-elections. <laughs> The pace of work here has slowed significantly. How the work is progressing is nothing compared to when all public officials assembled here. No bridge and segmented outcomes. 
From here to Bodumase has been tarred, but the next town has been neglected. From Ufijase to the Zungu has been tarred, but not the next town. We don't understand. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>